you going, everyone? I've um, I've been in a predicament for the last I don't know four months or something, right? Where I've been out at a place called Top Springs Hotel. So I've been up to the Cape, um, and I have uh, I filmed it all. I haven't been able to make it through circumstance and, and other technical issues. Basically, I've sort of busted the computer, and it won't do what I wanted to do. So I'm I'm here a few months later, or four months later. And in the meantime, um, the Harley broke down. I had to get it picked up in a tractor bucket and driven 30 k's down the road to this pub called Top Springs Hotel. Got it back there, got a battery in it. And anyway, got stuck there and got work in there and really loved the place. So I stayed. And anyway, Christmas day come round and I headed off, I'm off again um, to, to go to Townsville. So, I did buy a motor car instead, a four-wheel drive. Um, she's fully sick, right? It's got jacked up and shit. See, you can see how it's all jacked up. It looks, it's, that's the mud that you had to drive through to get out of Top Springs, to not go into Catherine. And we're all, all was going well until I got to a place called Hewitton. And so she's rooted, right? It just snapped clean off, man. Fucking. And it's um the 29th now. So everything's closed. Everyone's closed. The tow truck people have gone away. I'm stuck on the side of the road. And this broke down a couple of hundred metres down the road. It did this. But I just drove it anyway like that. To this caravan park here so at least i've got somewhere to stay at the moment so it is what it is i'm sort of stuck and it's fucked to be totally honest with you but i did i did talk to a dude a, a truck um mechanic and he's currently in townsville and he's got a tow truck too so he's coming back today anyway to this place um and he's gonna pick up the car either today or tomorrow and take it to his workshop and he asked me to send me the photos of what's wrong with it. So he's hoping to get the parts to get me back on the road. If not, old mate's gonna um, store it at his joint uh, until he can, uh, when he reopens the shop, because he's closed until the 16th. And that's cool, I'll let him dump it there and I'll find another way to get the fuck out of here and get going, because the trailer, uh, I've got a trailer too to put the Harley on, right, for the moment. And I left that at another place called McKinley. Um, and so, I, I don't know. But anyway. <laughs> doesn't get any more fucking that, I suppose. But anyway, I apologise guys for not uploading um, and making videos and shit. And once I can get myself the right bit to fix the computer bit, uh, I should be back on my way and, and be showing you the rest of the trip. But, fuck, I tell you what, I've sort of become very calm with this whole don't blow up Steve, just... You know, it's all good. You're here for a reason, sort of shit and all of that. But I tell you what, it's fucking testing, man. When you fucking only form a transport's that and it's fucking rooted and you're stuck in a bumfuck town and no one fucking wants to help you. And it's only, I'll be trying now for a couple of days, but uh, this guy, I got him this guy. So it's cool. Fuck. Fucking piss, mate, eh? At least, at least when you do stuff, you've got to do it proper. And that's something I'll, I'll talk to you about, kids, is um, don't do things by halves. If you're going to do something, do it to the best of your ability. And if you're going to fuck shit up, make sure you fuck it up properly. Anyway, Life with Steve Kettle. Like and subscribe. <laughs> I'll talk to you later.